Okay, now I have my lower pocket here. So the first thing that I have to do is just on the very top of the pocket, I'm going to sew a one inch um, stitch line right across the top. I'm going to go over to my machine and I'm going to use the ruler that's on my machine so I don't have to do any mugging on this. I'm just going to do that one inch um, from the top of my apron just across um, that one side. Okay, now I'm on the back side of my fabric and I am going to take the top raw edge and I'm just going to fold it down to meet that stitch line I just sewed and I am going to press that. So I'm headed over to the iron next. Okay, before I begin ironing, I'm just going to check my setting on my iron and make sure that is correct. Um, and then I'm going to fold that so that it matches up with my stitch line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press it. Okay, now I'm going to fold one more time over and I'm going to fold so that my stitch line is going to be right at the top of my fold here. And once I have that where I want it here, I'm gonna just use my iron again and I'm gonna press that into place. Okay, now I'm gonna do a base stitch. I already turned my machine to its longest setting and I'm just gonna do my base stitch right along this folded edge down here, as close to that edge as I can get. Um, again, I'm not gonna back stitch and I'm gonna leave those strings nice and long so that I can pull this out when I am ready to do so. Now that I have my base stitch done, I'm gonna go ahead and I am just going to stitch 3 eighths inch from the edge of the fabric on the right side so that um, my um, fold here has a really nice stitch in place. Once that's done, I can go ahead and I can remove that base stitch. Okay, now I'm ready to remove that base stitch. So I went ahead and I cut my strings for my top stitch nice and short, and I just have nice long strings for that base stitch. I'm just gonna grab one of those strings and I am going to kind of just pull it gently and I'm going to do it gently so that that string doesn't break. And you'll see that my fabric kind of starts to gather. And as it gathers, I just kind of want to slide it down so that I can keep kind of pulling and sliding the fabric kind of off of that string. Okay, now I'm just gonna go over to my machine and I'm gonna do a regular stitch right along both of these edges. I'm gonna do a 5 8 inch seam allowance and I'm just gonna do my short edges. I'm not gonna do anything on the top or the bottom, just the two sides. Okay, so now I'm on that short edge that I just stitched. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it over to the wrong side so that that stitching lines up just on the very edge of my fold here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And I'm gonna do this to both short edges of my pocket for my apron. Okay, now I have my pocket um, pinned in place. I used those placement lines on either side and I just lined up the bottom raw edge. And I am going to do a hand base, which is very similar to the base we did with the machines. Um, but instead I am using um, a just a needle and thread and I am going to go ahead and I did put a knot in my thread on the one side and I'm just gonna do a running stitch and this stitch length can be rather long on this running stitch. And I am just, again, it's just to hold in place until we get something done and then we will take it out. So it can be a long stitch. I'm gonna do it right on the edge of this pocket on either um, short edge here, um, this side here, and then over on the other side as well. So I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, just a nice long stitch. And then when I get to the end of this, 
I am just gonna go ahead and leave a little bit of a tail. I am not going to um, put a knot in it because I am going to be pulling this out when I am finished with what I am doing on the pocket here. Okay, now I am done with that base stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a regular um, top stitch using my machine. I'm gonna do that on both edges and I am also going to do it on the three um, lines that I marked earlier. Um, so when I do this, I'm gonna use that 3 8 inch seam allowance. So that's gonna mean that my presser foot, the edge of my presser foot's just um, maybe a little bit inside the edge of my fabric here. Um, I am going to go all the way to the top of the pocket on either side and I will make sure that I'm back stitching. For my three lines on the inside, I am just going to go right up to the top stitch and I'm not sure how... Okay, so I have finished my top stitch here. I went all the way up on the edge here. And then on these middle ones, I just went up to that top stitch line. It's time for me to remove that base stitch that I did along each edge. So I'm just gonna go over to the back side and grab that knot and just kind of give it a pull and it should pull right out. Um, the farther you leave your base stitches, um, the easier that it should pull out. Mm -hmm. 